He urged them to seek sexual fulfillment with their wives. For, for that is what Allah had made lawful. Lots of people waited until he had finished his short sermon, and then they roared with laughter, blinded by passion. They broke down the door. Lot became very angry, but he stood powerless before these violent people. He was unable to prevent the abuse of his guests, but he firmly stood his ground and continued to plead with the mob, the punishment. At this, at that terrible moment, he wished he had the power to push them away from his guests, seeing him in a state of helplessness. And grief, the guest said, do not be anxious or frightened, Lot, for we are angels and these people will not harm you. On hearing this, the mob was terrified and fled from Lot's house, hurling threats at him as they left. The angels warned Prophet Lot to leave his house before sunrise, taking with him all his family except his wife. Allah had decreed that the city of Sodom should perish. An earthquake rocked, to the, rocked the town. It was as if a mighty power had lifted the entire city and flung it down. In one jolt, a storm of stones rained on the city. Everyone and everything was destroyed, including Lot's wife. The angels meet Abraham. Allah the Almighty recounted the story and tell them about the guest angels of Abraham. When they entered unto him and said, Salam, man, peace. Salam, peace. Abraham said, Indeed, we are afraid of you, the angels. They, the angels, said, Do not be afraid. We give you glad tidings of a boy, son, po possessing much knowledge and wisdom. Abraham said, Do you give me glad tidings of a son when old age has overtaken me? Of what then is your news? They, the angels, said, we give you glad tidings in truth. So be not of the despairing. Abraham said, And who despairs of the mercy of his Lord except those who are astray? Abraham again said, What then is the business on which you have come, O messengers? They, the angel said, we have been sent to a people who are mudrimeen, criminals, disbelievers, polytheists, sinners, all except the family of Lot. Them all we are surely going to save from destruction, except his wife of one. We have decreed that she shall be of those of the of the those who remain behind. She will be destroyed. Then when the Messengers, the angels, came unto the family of Lot. She said, he said, Verily, you are people unknown to me. They said, Nay, we have come to you with that torment which they have been doubting, and we have brought to you the truth, the news of the destruction of your nation, and certainly we tell the truth. Then travel in a part of the night with your family with your family, and you go uh, behind them in the rear, and let no one amongst you look back, but go on to where you are ordered. And we made known this decree to him, that the root of those sinners was to be cut off in the early morning. The inhabitants of the city came rejoicing at the news of the young men's arrival, Lot said, Verily, these are my guests, so shame me not, and fear Allah, and disgrace me not. They, people of the city, said, Did we not forbid you to entertain or protect any of the element? People, foreigners, strangers, etc., from us, 
Lot said, These the girls of the nation are my daughters to marry lawfully, if ye must act so. Verily, by your life, O Muhammad, in their wild intoxication, they were wandering blindly. So Asaliha torment, awful cry, overtook them at the time of sunrise, and we turned the towns of Sodom, Sodom in Palestine upside down and rain down on them stones of baked clay. Surely in this are signs for those who see or understand or learn the lessons from the signs of Allah, and verily they, the cities, are right on the high road. From Mecca to Syria, the place where the Dead Sea is now, surely therein is indeed a sign for the believers, Allah the Exalted also declared, so we saved him and his family, all except an old woman, his wife among those who remained behind. Then afterward, we destroyed the others. We reigned on them a reign of torment. How evil was the, ra the reign of those who had been warned. Verily, in this is a, indeed a sign, yet most of them are not believers. Verily, your Lord, he is indeed the Almighty, the most merciful. Lot's life after Sodom, the book was closed on the people of Lot. Their towns and names have been erased from the face of the earth. Gone are they from one memory. One book was closed of the books of corruption, Lot proceeded towards Abraham, he visited him, and when he recounted the story of his people, he was surprised to learn that Abraham early already knew. So Lot continued to invite people to Allah, as did Abraham. The patient one who turned to Allah repentantly, and he, the two held firm to their mission.